Hi, this is Photon. I showed you some WHD load games before and uh, they blinked while loading and that was kind of my fault because I was soft kicking Kickstart 3.1. You don't need to do that. You can install a physical 3.1 ROM and um, WHD load will, will work as expected and preload games fine. Now if you want to soft kick Kickstart 3.1 for example I want to do that because I want the Kickstart 1.2 ROM in, in my motherboard instead to cover all the games and demos that I ever want to run from floppy or similar. Uh, if you want to soft kick it then it will eat half a meg of of, um <coughs> of the ACA 500's fast RAM and uh, this will simply not not fit the disk images for preload after Workbench has been started. However, all you need to do is install a trapdoor expansion, um, a normal normal trapdoor expansion. Maybe you already have one in your Amiga 500, and uh, the games will preload fine. There is one requirement. I um, contacted um, Batian, aka Weppel of WHD load because when the trapdoor memory was inserted of course there were two memory expansions and WHD load couldn't handle the fragmented memory but with version 17.2 it can so just get the latest WHD load and install a trapdoor expansion and you're good to go for the uh, WHD load games so I'll just run through a few here <coughs> This is a very nice intro, but I'm just interested in uh, checking that the loading works fine. And the loading works fine. And I already know this, I've run some of the games before, but uh, preload is, is nice. I mean, you do want it, because the games start very fast, even though I have no problem playing from foppies. Sometimes I prefer it. For the occasional romp, it's very quick to start. That's beautiful. Didn't happen last time. But as you can see, WHD load um, handles it fine and you can continue to, to use Workbench. So, I don't know. Uh, some games, of course, require one megabyte chip, and WHD load will tell you so, and you will just have to um, uh, use this with an A500 Plus, or get one of those. Maybe you have an A500, which has one of those trapdoor expansions, which maps um, 512k of the memory to, to chipman. <coughs> Either works fine. So some games have, you know, fixed timeouts that or they're doing something in the background which is not part of loading stuff. So here for example it's doing something and I don't know if it's loading or whatever but you can't click past it. So just a few seconds. This will become more evident in in um, Shadow of the Beast. Well, I don't know. Most of these are one disk games and you'd expect few problems with that. Um, I know that Turrican 2 uses a very big one disk image. So I'm not sure if that works or not. The assembly line, I always like their, their games. Good code and some fresh ideas.
and that's it. And um, well, this has a nice animation, I think. And some delight type music for the cool kids. So, anyway, it seems to be loading fine. So, well, what's up next? Well, these uh, workbench type games should of course work right away. I would like to show you Moonstone, but it requires one megabyte chip. And uh, you may get lucky and uh, a multi-disc game might load, uh, preload, that is. But it will only preload the first disc, probably. Um, and then when you progress in the game, it will not be able to preload the, the second disc. <coughs> so, um, well, let's try Shadow the Beast. And this, as I mentioned before, has uh, some timeouts or something where they want you to, to, to really experience this very fine presentation. This was a graphical revelation at the time. A very nice style and um, an audio-visual treat. Reflections. They went on to um, code, among other things, I think Driver on the PC, which is a very nice racing game series. And again, I can't click anything here to make it move on. It'll just imprint you for a while, and then <coughs> I'll be able to press the um, joystick button. So just here, and wait for the music to slowly fade out. Parallax goodness. And you can, here you can see it start blinking probably as it accesses uh, disk 2. But it, quite, de quite decent I think. And uh, I think the fastest way you'll get into Shadow the Beast. Certainly faster than floppies. And uh, well let's try another bit my brother game. A favorite of mine. Very nice to play uh, two players. And it can also be very <laughs> frustrating. And you get you can become enemies with your own brother. Yep, and um, let's load the demo game. Very fast and fine. So, um, that's it. All you need to do is to not softkick 
or to add a trapdoor expansion and WHD load preload will work fine. Thanks.